Buenos Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking ba -da -ba -ba -ba. like a motherfucking smack at it. All that is, you can tell by that thumbnail right there. Let's get straight to it in a minute. It'll start in a direct motherfucking fashion, right? We're going to talk about the wet, the wet or walk away, right? That's what I want to call it. Um, First and foremost, respects to the Valto for doing what he did, man. For standing solidified in his actions. For being a solid individual, man. Um, for saying what he was going to do and doing what he said. Right? Now, a lot of people are going to say this and that. And everyone's going to be opinionated and give their perspective in the situation of why he walked away, why he shouldn't have, why he should have. And I'm saying, man, to each man their own. This YouTube shit is not easy. Okay? You're always going to have a lot of individuals, man. Um... <clears throat> that feel some type of way about you just because they can. You know, a lot of people listen to other people, strangers, people that they don't even know, people that won't even put their mascara or their face out there are going to whisper in your earlobes. Almost. They're going to be all up in your earpiece, um, giving their opinion on why come, how come, shouldn't, shan't, should not, right? Chip out, man. Hey, to each man their own. Now, I'm going to tell you this. For what I know about Weddle Holmes, he's a very respectable person. A solid individual, you know, it doesn't matter, Holmes, exactly, you know, what led to him walking away from his barrio or what led to him, you know, deciding that if for no other reason he wants to help the youth, he wants to help someone out. You know, when you're living that gang life and you're in the game, Holmes, for so many years and for so long, you take a lot. You take, 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 take. So I was getting, can I have that? No, I'm going to take it anyways. You take. As you get older, you get grayer in the whiskers. You decide you want to give back. You know, there's things that you want to do. And not everybody is monetarily blessed. Now, in his instance, man, he's worked hard to achieve some things in his life. Like he says, he owns properties. Um, He has a good hale. He has a good familia, man. And I commend him for that, man. Not everyone could do that. Not everyone has the right state of mind or is in the right place at the right time to do things like that. And for that, bro, hey, praises are with you. Someone touched you. You know what I mean? God blessed you. And you got to run with those blessings. Now, at the same time, if that man wants to give back to the community and wants to give back to the head, that's his prerogative. Like Bobby, I said, he could do what he wants to do, right? And no one could take that from him. Now, here on YouTube, the platform would seem like a feasible place to do something like that, to give back to the community, you know, to touch one's lives. If you could help someone, if you could reach one and teach one, so I was scared that sounds fine and dandy in candy land homes. But on the YouTube yard, right here on YouTube, these platforms are not always... Uh, uh, it's easier said than done. It's not always the place and the time. You know, sex sells, drama sells, bullshit sells. People want to hear the drama. They want to hear the novela. They want to hear the chisme. You know, I'm one of the individuals they turn to and go, what happened? Did you see what happened? I can't, I can't call it like an alcoholic. Maybe you can. I can't call it either. I'm just like you. You know, I only hear what I see and see what I hear. That's it. I don't know anything more than the next man. Other, so I, was, I, could, I could tap in. I got a, I got a phone just like anyone else. It ain't even no iPhone. It's a Metro. Call it the Getro home. That's how I get paid, right? I do what I does. I don't have a lot. What I've accumulated and I've achieved in life, I did on my own merits. I know that just like Weddle did. Now, the big thing the other day was Weddle being on Hoodstocks, and I've touched on it. Several others did, and how people feel he got played out of pocket. Maybe he was manipulated into going to this podcast, man, to be played. Um, and to be preyed upon, you know, there's always been an unspoken, a lightweight, unspoken um, division amongst the Southerners from down South and the upstaters, you know, it's not hate, it's not envy, it's nothing like that. It's a division, you know, it's an invisible line in the sand, just like Norte, you know, there's an invisible line in the sand. We're all the same at the end of the day. We're all brown, tacated down, bald headed, and let's do it. Fill me up with unleaded, right? But at the same time, there's always going to be individuals that feel a certain way because that's just how they relate. Sometimes that's just how they were educated. That's just how they feel. You can't change someone's mindset. You could try to appease them. You could try uh, uh, to speak on it, man. But at the end of the day, if they're stuck in their ways and they do what they does, because there ain't really nothing you could do in a manual style, right? But you could try. You know, I can't, it can't hurt you for trying. 
Now, this Bothell uh, Weddle, when he first came out and he did an interview on stories written by a current prisoner, I thought right then and there, Holmes, the Bothell was no longer in the greatest of standings. Anyone who goes on stories written by a current prisoner to tell their story knows that you're putting yourself in a certain situation. That channel, uh, most of the guys that go on that channel were either in the SNY, um, no good, um, are considerably not uh, uh, accounted for when it comes to a roster. Um, they're not in the best of standings. There's certain things that have happened on that channel, man, um, that have gotten people in trouble, indicted, things of that nature. And that's why I kind of shied away from that channel initially. Yeah, I also did an interview on that channel. But over time, I realized, man, hey, this was not the channel for me to be on. Um, it seems like more people were getting hurt than helped. Right. So I said, you know, so I said, yeah, I'm not going to be on stories written by Kurt Bob Wilson anymore. You know, no ill will or no bad intentions against Tony, you know, the entrepreneur and the guy who figured it out and started that channel. But at the same time, man, it just wasn't for me. But when I did see Weddles, I listened to his story. I liked his story. I liked the way he seemed honest and very modest about what he was trying to do to help the youth and help individuals get away from the gang lifestyle. So I automatically figured he had walked away wholeheartedly from that. Whether it be in good standings, bad standings, it doesn't matter. It's where you stand now, Holmes. And he stood far and away from, you know, the gang lifestyle. Hey, man, to each their own. That's all good in the hood, man. You know, that's commendable. It's all about raza anyways. It's all about being brown and proud. Now, you know, at the end of the day, you're only human. That's it. We're all born to make mistakes. And a mistake was made. You know, the mistake was made uh, by trying to start a channel and... and, and to not realize, man, there wasn't going to be drama that comes with it. You know, everybody that starts a YouTube channel, and I can speak on it myself because I've been one of the main ones, um, there's always going to be drama. Homes. You're always going to have to go through the twists and turns, and it's all about being cut from a different type of cloth. You know, to be solid as a rock like Ashford and Simpson, you got to be hardcore um, in what you do, and you got to understand that people are going to feel some type of way, and everyone has the right to freedom of speech and say what they're going to say. And whether you become susceptible to that and you fall fucking in the oil homes and you let it suck you down that wormhole, so I'm going down the wormhole, right? And you go down that hole and you roll with that, homes, it's up to you. Or you can fucking duck, dodge, bomb, and weave, homes, and, and roll with the punches and keep doing what you does, cuz. You know, and can't no one be mad at you, homes, because you're also speaking your piece. You only are mad enough to have a platform and show your face doing it. Now, uh, what have started a channel? A righteous channel, I must say, because I was watching it. And I thought some of the stories that he was speaking on and, and the daily life of San Jose activities and things that were going on in Sanjo, you know, were very righteous. They were real. Um, he had his opinion. Um, he based it on his truths and what he believed was the real. And I liked it, man. I agreed with all, wholeheartedly I agreed with all of it. You know, having grown up in Northern California and being, uh, you know, accustomed to San Jose ways and going to Sanjo and having a lot of homeboys from San Jose from all the different water hills, North and South, I can say, man, righteously, what he said was real. Now, there's always going to be that difference between up north and down south. As much as we hate to say it, Holmes, and I try, and I'm not here to cause division. I'm here for unification. The unification about WBC and WBA. I'm here for to bring all the belts together so that way one Mexicano can hold those motherfuckers, right? We want to come together. Real people want to come together, man, um, because feria, man. We can make more of a bag, Holmes. We can open up more doors. We can help our youth by giving them the real, not the really fake, right? And I believe Weddle was one of those individuals to do that, but there's always going to be that bias. Now, when he went on Hoodstocks, man, I felt just in my whole heart that I have, my little old bitty black heart, right, that there was some manipulation going on. And right from the gate, I see some things that were very unbecoming. Again, I don't whoop on Lucky from Hoodstocks, man. I love his channel, love his get down, love his message. At the same time, I understand, man, when you're pushing the active line homes, there's certain things you have to adhere to and certain policies and politics you must follow up under. And that's just righteous. That's just the way it is. I am not the person to speak on that because at the same time, homes, I was once part of that lifestyle. So I understand exactly where the bottle's coming from. Bang, bang. Orale, you like my Knight Rider jacket? Dun, 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 dun. Orale, Knight Rider, let's go over here, homes. No, not Northern Rider. I said Knight Rider. Now trip out. You know what I mean? Because I get my ride on that night. Side, side, side. She knows what time, or she gets a ride on. I'm just there to provide the ride. Now, roller coaster, the demon, orale, great America. Now, let's trip out. The Vato has decided to walk away. This is not about him walking away. This spill is not about, oh, Spencer Holmes, he was pushed away, or someone told him something, or someone whispered in his ear, or someone made him do that, or, you know, hey, whatever that man did, he righteously did. You know, he can do what he wants. Just like he decided to start a channel on his own, he could decide to walk away on his own. Hey, tomorrow I can say, fuck it, Holmes, I'm gone. That's it. You know what I mean? I've decided to. 
that I'm going to be a used car salesman. Whatever the case may be, man, it's up to me to decide just like it was up to him to decide. And he did what he felt was right for him and for his family. Like he said, he never had no intentions for drama. He never wanted to get involved in that. He just had a righteous message to push. But the message was misconstrued. When you start to blur the lines between non-active and active homes, even if you're in good standings, I've told it and I've said it a long time ago, there's a difference between being active homes and being in good standings. There's a lot of individuals, man, that walked away from the gang lifestyle on their own merits, on their own. They paroled active or they didn't even go to prison homes. They just decided, hey, is that okay? You know what? I'm going to go over here. You know, I'm going to go play the new Street Fighter at the arcade. I'm done with the gang aspect of life and to each their own. Now, you're always going to be looked at by some people as a poop butt, as you use things as a scapegoat, you used your family as a reasoning to let it go. And then you're going to be looked at as some from some real righteous man like, hey, Holmes, let the homie do his thing. The homie's just trying to better himself and he has a family to worry about. He's prioritizing what's real and what's righteous in his life. You can't be mad at that. Fill that up with the lead. Real talk. I'll take premium. That's it. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Fill that up. Um, so he decides to walk away from YouTube. His prerogative. His choice. Now, this spill is not necessarily about that. What's done is done. What's said is said. You know, um, if he did or didn't know about Flacco standings, if he did or didn't know about his past homes, I don't care. That's neither here nor there. None of that matters anymore. What matters is the Baltos decided to leave, you know, and, and, and I wanted to speak on what I would have told him personally. And, and now that I have the platform and now that I have the time, I'm going to say it. Well, speaking directly to you, if you watch this, that's it. I'm not sure if you watch my content, if you even know who I am. But this is coming from one YouTuber to a next, right? When I say, look, respectfully, bro, um, I would have just took time. Myself, I would have reanalyzed the whole situation and stepped back and took a little time, you know, before I just jumped the gun and, and decided to just clean the slate, walk away. You know, there's always going to be things that people say about you or things that come out on you or things that come out on people around you that you've affiliated with in the past that are not as righteous as they should be. But it's not all about the image. It's not all about looking hardcore and all about looking gang related and all about looking cool. It's it. At the end of the day, you are cool. You know what I mean? You're so cool that sometimes they're going to call you a culo. Sometimes there's going to be people that have something to say and they're going to manipulate the masses into believing certain things about you. Just like me, I'm a rata, a punk, a puto, a poop butt, a fucking scavenger or whatever the case may be. I'm utilizing everybody. But at the end of the day, we're still waiting on paperwork. I know it's been two years. So I get, and the weight is real. My hands went numb from holding. Yeah, I hold. Right? So I, get, I had to let the knuckles be free. Boop, 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 boop. Burp. You know what it is, right? Um, and in Weddle's case, in your case, I said, um, I believed you should have got at maybe some more seasoned YouTubers, such as myself, maybe Dub, some other individuals like Robo. And I know, and not necessarily uh, uh, us, but there's a lot of other people that you could talk to. I know that when times got rough for me and a lot of people were talking shit, man, and there was people putting out addresses and names and familia members and disrespecting families and things of that nature. You know what I did was I took a step back for a minute got my mind right so that I may shine right and started to tap in with individuals from different genres of YouTube and started to inquire and ask questions. Hey, how did you deal with this? Does this happen in your genre? What's going on, bro? Is it just the brown people turn the brown people down again? Or is it something that happens, you know, for everybody? And they were like, Charlie Holmes, I'm a golf channel. I said, and they're talking about my swing is ugly, right? And, and it was just, it happens in every genre. It happens. If you're a YouTuber, you have to understand there's always going to be people feeling some type of way about you. That's just it. So that's good. You can't run from the from the fucking the real people are always there's people that their whole purpose and goal in life is to fuck with you. They just want to fuck with you, man. And if you give them what they want, then they got what they wanted. You know, what I mean, never let another man dictate your program. Never let another man manipulate you into fucking being putty in their hands. Said play doh, right? Because what happens if you do that, man? And if you don't fight for your right to party or the beastie boy, brass monkey, if you don't fight for your rights, homes. To have your voice be felt and, and push your agenda, you know, whether it be on this platform, TikTok, on tight pants or whatever, and Twitter, it's really Elon Musk doing big things, right? Tesla, if you don't uh, um, fight for your right to do yours, you and yours, then what's going to happen? You're going to be shamed um, into thinking, Holmes, that you're something you're not. You're going to be looked at a certain way. Now, there's a lot of people that will respect you, Holmes, for being a man and saying, you know what, I, I'm big enough to say, fuck this. I don't need this. Holmes, it's not about the feria. It's not about this and that. But if you have to let people know and tell them that you have money, then you really ain't got that type of money. Do you understand? People with bread, people with real money don't say it, Holmes. They just spend it. You understand what I'm saying? 
Um, people that have to, it's like you're reiterating it yourself. You're kind of trying to convince yourself, bro. I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit. No, there was a reasoning to start a YouTube channel and your reason was a justified reason. That's it. Your reason was to help the youth get away from gangs, get away from certain things. Now I myself, that is not my agenda. I'm not here to help anyone walk away from anything. I'm not here to help anyone do anything but to open their eyes to see the realities of what's going on in the world around you. Not necessarily in the gang aspect or the prison aspect. It's in the real aspect, right? In the real aspect of this is the crazy times that we live in. This is a crazy world. Homes. Now, I might do it comedically by comedy. I might do it by justification of realness. But at the end of the day, I'm doing it, man. Will I let people confuse me and, and push me in a direction to walk away? Charlie Holmes, because I don't believe what I'm doing is wrong. You know, I'm going to talk to whoever the fuck I want to talk to. I'm going to associate with whoever I want to, uh, whoever I want to associate with. Am I going to do crimes with certain individuals? Charlie, am I going to do crimes? Period, Charlie Holmes. I'm far removed from doing that in my life. See, I've been there and I've done that. You know, I was, I used to wake up every morning, gotta get up, I gotta get going, I'm gonna do a crime with my hands. And I was all about that Bangladesh, allegedly. You know, we don't want to speak on it, still, still statute of limitation. But I was still um, with that agenda, homes. that was my everyday life. You know, I woke up, I breathed, I ate, I slept, everything was norte to me. Well, Gollums, um, I was a Norteño through and through. That's what I truly believed in. And I still haven't got away from that cause. I still truly believe that's a righteous cause. I'm just not pushing in that movement. I'm no longer allowed to. I said because of the motherfucking moves that I've made. Not because I told on anyone. Not because I debriefed on anyone. Not because I fucking did cowardice acts. Because I felt that my fucking crew homes and the people that I was associated with on the yard weren't doing things righteously. I voiced my opinion, took flight, and look, here I am. I'm a YouTuber. I said bang, bang. That's just how it is. Now, we know in the gang lifestyle, real actors, real people that are participating in that gang life will never, they don't even watch YouTube. I didn't even know what this was. I only knew what MySpace was because that's how we used to set people up and get my loans from badass bitches. That's the only reason I knew about that. Social media was not in our agenda. We did not care. Now, I understand times have changed. Things have changed and people utilize social media to get to certain people or they utilize social media to push their propaganda or their agenda or their fucking hood politics, or whatever the case may be. Hey, man, I don't know. Shit has changed. You know, I'm from the 90s. I said, don't, 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 don't. All right, boys in the hood, men in society, oh, dog, craziest motherfucker alive. That's the era I come from, okay? Now, I understand Weddle had a righteous, righteous agenda on YouTube. You walked away. I would have told you, homes, just like people have told me, take a breather, I said, take time. Things blow over. You know, hey, maybe you made a mistake, bro. Maybe you didn't know. You know, you can't know everything. It's not, hey, you're just human just like the rest of us, man. You know, if you want to associate with certain people or you don't, that's totally up to you. But you can't get the fuck out of the way because of how people think about you or what people are going to perceive, homes. At the end of the day, you're a righteous man doing righteous things, homes. You know in your heart what you're here for, homes, and fuck what everyone else is talking about. It sounds good, but you're supposed to be solid, homes. You're either solid or you're not. There is no in between. There's no riding the fence. That's it. Guess what? Them points stick in your ass, homes. And I don't think that feels too good. I don't know. I, I don't got experience, but I'm just saying, though, right? You know, it doesn't look like, hey, I, I'm sure you don't want to get poked on. Now, um, just because, sir, oh, man, you fucked with that guy. You're all bad, homes. Hey, you went on stories written by a current prisoner, homes. So I already assumed um, you weren't tripping. You know, everybody knows already what time it is with that channel. So I already assumed, homes. You were out the way way, you know, um, did I look at you bad? Did I look at you any other way? Nah, I said, hey, there's a good dude right there from San Jose. used to be an upstater, homes, with the, really with the business, paroled in good standing homes, walked away to go be with his family homes, and now he wants to help people, not necessarily discourage them from being in gangs, but give them the fucking justifications of why he's not doing what he done, you know? When there's someone that established gangs, that actually started hoods, homes, actually started volumes, or was in influential and implemental in doing things like that, implemental, is that even a word? I don't know, fuck it, I make shit up as I go. But as I'm saying, um, when there's someone of that status and that caliber, homes, I want to listen. I want to listen to your stories. I believe your stories are righteous and I believe that they will touch the right people in the right way. You know, not pinch their butt, I said in the right way, not trip out. Or maybe that is the right way, I can't call it. She's bad though, one time for her mind, right? Now I got the ism, utterly sharp, come test my abilities or do I have to take off my fucking jacket too? This ain't rabbit, is it? nor is it frog. Bang, bang, not trip out. Um, It's Lou. Now look, we're going to keep this going when I say, man, to Weddle, hey, you did what you did, Holmes. The walk away was real at the same time, Holmes. Hey, many blessings, much respect, Holmes. Your decision, Holmes, um, shows the solidarity of what you really are, the true man that you are. 
and, and nothing but love and respect. Like I said, it's not about cheese, man. It's not about keeping it going. It's not about the views and put, applying pressure, man, and utilizing people's images to come up and get what you want, man. It's about realness. And I'm really saying, Tuero, man, I commend you, Holmes. I wasn't able to walk away, man. Um, that's the type of man I am. Those are the merits that I stand on, bro. I'm not going to let anyone push me out of a certain situation. But at the same time, man, I understand where you're coming from. You know, if you don't need this, you don't need this to feed this, man. And that's what it is. Anyways, nothing but love and respects. If you would have came to me, I would have told you to take a breather. as to take some time and the shit will blow over. It always does, man. The shelf life just like CR in the Kronka. <laughs> Ain't that much of a life here on YouTube, man. There's going to be a lot of people, and there would have been one after another after another trolls that come into your life that only want to disturb and deter you from doing what you does. And that's because they're mad at you, homes, because they ain't you, you know? Or you got other reasons why they're fucking obsessed. Either way, man, just continue to do you and be the man that you are, bro. And many praises and much respects, bro. If you decided to get out the way, way, homes, and not do YouTube, or if you even decide later on, homes, Hey, that you're ready to jump back on the ship, homes, and float that Titanic, yes, it? Don't let nobody, and I mean nobody, yes, it? Sink your battleship. With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you guys get everything that you want coming to you. I hope you have a motherfucking beautiful Saturday, yes, it? I know I am. I got a date, so I had to get G'd up from the feed up. You know what it is, man. The manipulation is real. She got me manipulated, yes, it? I hope I don't have to run down those stairs at a hotel one time for my mind. Um, If I do, so I'll, scared, I'll be wearing the J's. So I float and say, I believe I can fly, but I'm not art like R. Kelly. You know what it is, man. With that being said, I hope that you move with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. If you're like Wedo Holmes, do it for your familia. If you're like myself, do it for your familia. Don't let no one tell you, man, you can't get it. You know, because you can. Honestly, you really can, gente. Raza, black people, my woods, sprinkle them in. It's all love, my brothers, you know. You know what it is, man. To my Asian partners, shit, the shit don't never stop. I fuck with a lot of Asians and say, and I mean a lot. This shit, I'm going to go pick up the Asian homeboy later on today. We're going to be in that motherfucker riding, Mong style. You feel me? Bang, bang. You know what it is. If you like this, please hit that like and subscribe with a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head of Where's Guns Crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I truly believe in. And that's the unity of all people. To Weddle, I say I commend you in everything that you've done, homie. And all those people that are talking, hey, they're going to say in the DM, hey, it's cheese, man. Let it go. Let it go. Hey, what? Fuck you. I'm straight up. Bang, bang. And in that fashion, I said it. Fill me up with our letter.